everybody, how are we doing? Um, gonna go over the new 2020 WordPress theme that is the default theme for the year 2020. Um, every year WordPress continues to release a new theme. And as you can see here, uh, this is actually WordPress.org. And you can see that this is the new theme where you're able to actually preview it and download it. So I've actually already installed a version. You might have saw that tutorial. It was the last one. Um, installed a version of the theme and I just want to go over some of the features that this new 2020 theme offers. Um, as you can see here, pre-installation or, or just post-installation I should say, um, this is what you're going to get. And to be honest, it doesn't look like much, but at the same point, that's the reason WordPress is always trying to minimize for speed, for performance, for things like that, uh, the actual core of their templates and then allow you to kind of build them out from there. So just going back here, um, if you actually log into your WordPress, go to your themes and go to 2020, here are some of your common uh, theme options here and that's what we're going to go over in this video. So first of all, like every WordPress site, you're going to have your um, logo and your text that you can either change and basically just change these two fields and you're going to see that the website will reflect on let me just update this and you can also add a site icon here which is going to actually change this favicon here so if I just go publish you'll see that this has changed now to register domains online the best place to buy domains so making those changes um, is one thing you're able to do with the template so going back to the site identity um, we're going to see the colors here and basically it's just giving you two options which is for this background color and for the header and footer which are in white and yeah this template is kind of boring if you've seen a lot of cool templates with a lot of things going on this template seems pretty basic um, and I kind of wish they would maybe done a little bit more but I do understand just to kind of minimize so you're able to change these colors I don't know what your business color might be um, but these are the default colors, so maybe you want a blue or something. Um, you can update that there, and that's just basically the color. Now going to the theme options, you're able to see the show the search, which is going to be this feature up here, and show the author and the bio, which actually on this template doesn't reflect, but you'll be able to do that, and then just keep your posts on the full text, because otherwise you're going to... Uh, just see a shortened paragraph of your actual articles. So that's some of the theme options. Cover template um, is again the background images up here so you're able to swap this out with a better image if you'd like. Um, you can also change the colors again. This is something pretty standard throughout most of the themes. So that gives you the cover template which is basically this big first portion you come into as you enter the website. Background image is where you're actually able to change that image. I don't think I have anything currently loaded up on the site as far as media that would be uh, appropriate. So let's just maybe see if I can just fill an image real quick just to kind of show you where they install. So going down here, you also add our alt tags and we'll just click this, choose image. Move this back down while it refreshes. And okay, so this one is going to pull right here in your background. That is basically where we've currently changed the color to. So you're able to either add an image or a color. You know, you might want to pick a better image than that. Um, you can crop it, you can move it. There's a few images you can do with a theme background. Um, and that's why I said this 2020 theme, WordPress really tried to keep things pretty basic. Um, it gives a lot of flexibility to add third party stuff or just add your own custom. You can see here are the menus, so you can change the menus and the social links which I believe are at the bottom right here. So you're able to edit that as well. Just another few you know, standard things that are throughout all the websites that you're going to be wanting to change with this new 2020. You have your two footer sections which are basically the about this site is going to be your footer one which you can change that text here. Um, and then you also have the second option, which is a footer two section, where you can make those changes there. So again, these are just some of the overall theme options. And then finally, we're going to just go over our home page. 
which is you're able to select your article, which in this case is the new U of M or MA door opens its doors. So you can see that title here, and we're right now pulling blog posts. So guys, that's kind of the new register domain online. Um, I'm sorry, the new WordPress 2020 theme. We're going to continue to build this site out, so stay, uh, stay watching the tutorials as we continue to work with this theme to turn it into a domain registration website. So I uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe, that stuff helps, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.